Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one I wanted to show you quickly how to how to enable Azure Auto Manage from the portal. So say you have some uh, some virtual machines and there are uh, several types of virtual machines that are currently supported by the Azure Auto Manage. Uh, Ubuntu, some center, some rail and a whole bunch of Windows servers are supported. So what we'll do, we're going to find the auto manage and just going to search for auto manage and it, this already showed up, auto manage, right? Uh, let me do that one more time. And the second one is to auto manage Azure machine based practices. So that comes as a surface, it's still in a preview mode. And what you can do, right now there are no machines that are currently uh, using this particular feature. So you can click on enable uh where is it enable on existing machines okay so if you click on that one or this button any of them okay so here it's going to give you this view where you need to some machines where you are going going to implement that uh, as you auto manage now as you auto manage has two different configuration options one for the dev test and this environment you will use this uh, for testing workloads where robust monitoring and backup are not necessary and production uh, You would use this that includes insights and backup for the production workload So it it, it, it adds more stuff automated for you than what is uh, What is given within the dev and test uh, environment? And you can click on this compare environment details uh, to see what is going on. So over here, what you are saying, if you go for the production environments, you will have the machine insights monitoring backup as your security center, Microsoft anti malware, okay, and then update management, change tracking, guest configuration, as your automation account log analytics and boot, boot diagnostics. All of them will be uh, enabled for you. And if you use the dev test, you see the list just drop just a little. And uh, it's still got boot diagnostic, log analytics, uh, workspace, Azure automation, guest configuration, update management, anti malware, Azure security. But if you look at it, your backup is not there, and probably the insights monitoring is not there either. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to go and use uh, the production environment for this one in our demo and hit OK. And uh, if you want, you can create your own preferences as well. Say you don't need all of them, you just need maybe a couple of those services. You can uh, do, uh, uh, you can configure your own environment as well. So I'm just going to hit next. I'm just going to go with the Azure base practices here. Uh, for the advanced automation account, uh, automation account in Azure uh, is an Azure managed entity under which the machine operations are performed. So right now I don't have any automation account. So it is going to create uh, uh, one automation account for us. Uh, so you can uh, hit on create an automation account right from here. And uh, you can uh, like uh, name that automation account the way you want and hit create. So that will create or it will just create this automation account for us. I don't think I have any automation account at the moment. So just to verify, you can come over here and uh, look for automation account. And if you see, there is nothing there. So this one says new, that it is gonna create one automation account for us. And let's see, it's not, letting me enable this one so here I need to select uh, some machines so if I click on this one I have a couple of machines and it says uh, one is eligible and another it's eligible but the VM is not running so I can click on this one and uh, I can select this and once selected you see this uh, enable uh, button is now available to me I can click on enable and now it is registering the automation auto manage resource a provider okay um, so if i click on this one register auto manage provider it is automatic spread is being registered at this time and may take more than a minute so it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff for me so it's going to take a little bit of time so give me a minute 
and uh, uh, we'll we'll see uh, what happens next. Okay, what is going on over here? Uh, if you see this uh, thing, sixteen, it says configuration profile assignment completed successfully, and uh, what it did, uh, it created a resource group ending May fourteenth group under which. Uh, it created an account and then uh, it it provided subscription level role assignment to the account that we have and then uh, configuration profile assignment completed successfully so this is saying the uh, status is in progress and, and in a little bit uh, it should you know this status will change and we our automation auto manage will be completely configured for us so while this is going on let's see if there's anything else we need to do so if i go over here and click on the backup and over here you see right now a vault is now configured okay backup vault and a policy automatically configured for us uh, it's a backup frequency daily at three so these are all uh, base practices that uh, as you figured out this would be uh, would would, would apply to this particular uh, virtual machine and just apply it so I didn't have to go to the virtual machine and configure my backup let's see if uh, diagnostic setting if I go there uh, looks like the diagnostic setting uh, it's uh, going to uh, data lake 334R33 so that's got configured as well and uh, let's see if there's anything else that uh, boot diagnostic so that got updated as well and uh, monitor let me see if there's anything monitor that you can quickly tell okay insights yeah it says enable so this thing is still going on so let's just go back to auto manage. Auto manage. So this is still in progress. So once this is done, uh, I'm expect you know you would expect to see a lot more things to be configured using this particular uh, Azure auto manage service that will configure different things within the virtual machine that we don't have to take care of. Like even the update management will be configured for us. So let's just give it a couple more minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay everyone, it's been a while but I came back to see my auto manage and if you see over here now it is saying that my uh, auto manage is now configured for the Ubuntu 18 machine that we started earlier. Now, if you want to disable your auto management, you can easily do that by clicking this button and clicking on the disable auto manage. And what we want to do quickly go inside the machine. And uh, one thing we looked at earlier, and that is the backup. So if you go over here, you will see more things. That like that like other things has happened since we last checked. And it says the backup pre-check it has already done. Uh, this one has passed it has not done an initial uh, backup yet but it will do based on our frequency of backup policy and here it's a policy that uh, automatically applied to this particular machine so uh, so we don't, we don't have to do so there are a whole bunch of things that got uh, taken care by this auto manage feature within uh, within azure so what we will do again uh, to enable the auto manage you would come over here search for the auto manage and then click on uh, enable on existing machines and over here you're gonna select and and uh, right now uh, one of the machine ubuntu 18 is already under auto manage so it's not showing up in here uh, but this one is eligible but it's not running so you can uh, check this one uh, and then again hit select but you will probably have to go ahead and start the machine and again you can decide which kind of environment uh, you want to apply 
and what are the configurations that you want to apply uh, you can create new preferences and uh, and that's about it and you just uh, uh, create enable hit enable and it will uh, put it under this view and uh, as we have seen Ubuntu 18 has already been configured and it's working fine for us and the other machine uh, it says in progress now this is interesting although the machine is uh, not running it still says it's in progress so there are things that probably as you can do like maybe for backup you don't need the machine to, in a running state you can still do a backup and take snaps or stuff like that you can possibly configure some of the monitoring even when it's in the, the shutdown state so this is how you would use auto manage to uh, to manage your virtual machines and do a whole bunch of stuff uh, really easily so that you don't have to go and do it uh, and configure multiple services separately auto manage will do management of all those uh, services for you in in a central place okay hope this is useful and uh, uh, look that here it's suspending so that is what I was expecting that it's now telling me the Ubuntu is currently not running so not currently running auto manage will configure the machine when the machine's power state is running so again so what we learned that if it's uh, turned off auto manage can identify okay this machine we can still support it but it needs to be running when we can do some modifications all right uh, hope uh, this video has been useful uh, have a great day and happy learning azure thank you